morning. morning. We're here at Lake Medicine Walk. Mm -hmm. You can see some of Mount Cook at the back. Yeah, super clear day today. Yes. We've got beautiful views at the mountain. It looks amazing. We're gonna head down to the lake, take a stroll. Mm -hmm. And then today, we're gonna be headed out towards the Fox and Friends Joseph Glaciers. Yes, hopefully we get to see them. Yes, let's, let's go. go. We're about 10 minutes into the walk and you can see Lake Matheson behind us. But it's a bit like windy and cloudy today, a bit foggy. So we're about to head back because the point of this walk was mainly to take a reflection shot of Mount Cook in the water. Might be a bit difficult today. Yeah. So we're gonna head off towards the glaciers instead. Nick is acting like he's reading. I'm actually reading. <laughs> How do you mean I'm acting like I'm reading? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Caught on camera. So now we've arrived at Franz Joseph Glacier. Yeah. We are taking a walk along the trail. It's supposed to be 30 minutes long. But I think the conditions aren't too good today. So the viewing point has been shifted backwards. We are only able to go up to 3 kilometers from the glacier. Yeah, actually not too sure what's the normal distance we should be able to yeah. see the glaciers from. But I think we will just do what we can with what we have. Yeah. We're here! This is the Franz Joseph Glacier! Yeah, uh, it's a bit far, it's 3 kilometers away from us now. But this is as far as we go because we've got all these signs in the way. Yeah. Yeah, they're telling us about how like the river has changed its course and how the road is not accessible anymore. Mm. There are alternative hikes around the area. There's one that goes right up close to that peak for better views. It's about 5 hours plus. Then we've got another one over there, 8 hours plus. Neither of which are possible with our current gear and fitness levels, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna check out the glacier, yeah. go around the town. See what else there is to mm -hmm. see around here. And then head off to the Fox Glacier. So based on the sign, the glacier ended quite nearby in 1908. But if you take a look over there now, most of it is gone. And the glacier has retreated all the way back up there. We're here at the Sentinel Rock. For a 600 meter climb, quite steep but about 20 minutes long. Yeah, and we've got a view of the glacier here. It's honestly not as good as the one before. I think one more thing that they have over here is actually like this sign. This sign actually shows how much the glacier has retreated over the years. And the saddest thing is that honestly in 2010, they saw that this is how much it retreated and they expected this for 2100 but it is far worse than the prediction which is quite unfortunate so yeah that's about it for this place let's go to fox glacier
We're at the Fox Glacier Walk now. We're gonna be taking an hour and a half for this trail. And hopefully we get the two very good viewpoints along the way. I'm a bit tired already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been about five minutes since we left the car park. I think one you can minute, still see it. One minute. <laughs> you can still see it in the background. We went to touch the water in the little stream. Yeah. It was quite cold in the glacial waters. I think it's quite a warm day out, so it's not as cold as yesterday's water. Mm -hmm. The whole area mm. doesn't feel as cold as yesterday's blue pools. You don't see like snow or ice on the floor. Mm. Yeah, we've walked along the river walk and now we've come to a better view of the Fox Glacier. And right beside the Fox Glacier you can see there's a massive landslide in the area. We've reached the end of the trail. Yeah. Yes, this is the Fox This is the Fox Glacier. Yeah, we're at the end of the trail. It's been about a 45 to 50 minute walk mm. through an easy path. Yeah. And the Fox Glacier is there, honestly, it's not that great compared to the Franz Joseph one. That one had this bluish tint to it that made it look quite cool. Yeah, but still a pretty nice sight nonetheless. Yes. We heard about some glowworms in the area, so I think we might go explore some of those caves. Hopefully we see something cool. Now at our accommodations. Yeah, we're back in our hostel area. Mm -hmm. Just taking a short stroll after seeing both glaciers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think today we still do have one more thing on the agenda, which is to find a glowworm forest. Mm -hmm. So apparently it's a short 20 minute round trip walk. So early dinner first, mm -hmm. then afterwards we'll go see the glowworms when the sun goes down. That's right. Hey. Hello, we're here at the track now. At it's the Minihaha walk. It's yes. a 20 minute round trip, short trek. Um, we're gonna be looking for glowworms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now that we're all nice, happy, and fed from dinner, we're yeah. going to go in and take a look. Yes, we also brought headlamps. Mm, just to be safe. Yeah. Alright, it's actually a 15 minute short trek. Let's head right on. Three minutes away from the accommodations, mm -hmm. we walked about five minutes in mm -hmm. and we saw a couple of them, several spots with many glowworms. Yeah. I think it's just a matter of like knowing where to look and making sure that your eyes are adjusted to the darkness. Mm -hmm. So actually yeah. if you just turn off your lights and just wait for a little bit for your eyes to adjust, 
mm. you will just be able to catch some glow worms yourself. Mm. They're pretty cool. Yeah, not too hard at all. That's it for tonight. Mm. That's it. And I think we will go rest up, wash up, and get ready for tomorrow. Mm. Good night. Good night.